What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to do the Maradona. The first thing you wanna do is get good at using the sole of your foot. You're gonna use the bottom of your foot to roll that ball back to you. The next thing you wanna do is roll that ball back and catch it on the other foot. Roll it back, catch it on the other foot. Now we'll add in the third step. You're gonna roll the ball back, catch it, pivot on your standing foot, and drag the ball with you. Roll, catch, pivot, drag the ball with you. Balance is super important on this, so make sure you're on your toes when you do that pivot. As you do this, just practice on getting on your toes, keeping your balance, and pivoting on the standing foot. At the end of this, you should be like a ballerina, just twirling with the ball, riding on your tiptoes. As your balance increases and you pull that ball with you, you can increase the speed until eventually you dribble right at the defender and blow right by him. And then you pull out your best friend, who in my case is a trash can, and you play a little 1v1. I won, by the way. Hey guys, it's Coach Dakota and today I'm going to teach you how to do the Croy Step 1. You're going to want to approach the ball like you're trying to kick it as hard as you can one direction. When you approach the ball, you want to make sure your plant foot is going a little bit past the ball so that you have room to cut in behind. So Step 2 is going to be cutting the opposite direction of the way that you were going. So the three key components of the Cruyff turn is you want to sell your shot. So really exaggerate that you're going to shoot it, you're going to cross it, you're going to pass it. Number two is that you want to step a little bit past the ball so you have room to cut step behind. Step three, you'll be using the inside of your foot to cut the ball of the leg that you pretended to pass with. So you'll cut it back in between your legs and now you're off on the other direction. When using the Cruyff turn in practice or a game, you want to use it so that you're drawing the defender the opposite way you actually want to go. So if you want to go in towards the goal, go wide of the goal and cut it in back towards the center. Make sure to use both your left and your right leg to practice this. I know one is going to feel more uncomfortable. As you can see, my left was a lot more uncomfortable than my right. And that's okay. That's what practice is for. You want to be able to use the Cruyff turn on either side of the field so that it'll help you get in towards goal, beat your defender, whatever you want to do with that move. This is Coach Joshua demonstrating the scissors stationary. To make a challenge, see if you can go for 60 seconds.
Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite dribbling skills. I taught this to myself when I was a kid because I needed something I could do inside the house without breaking anything. I don't know if it has a name, let's call it the zigzag. It looks fancy, but it's actually pretty simple. Flick the ball across your body with the sole of one foot, and control it with the sole of the opposite foot. Then repeat this action in the other direction. First practice by standing in place and flicking the ball back and forth across your body with the sole of your feet. When you've got that down, try doing the same thing while walking. I call this the J step because you start by dragging your foot and the ball toward your standing leg. But almost immediately release the ball and step forward, completing a smooth J-shaped step. It looks like the ball is going behind your leg, but you're actually just stepping over the top of the touch, using your body to shield the ball from pressure. I used to walk around the house like this all the time. When you've got comfortable walking with the ball this way, start to speed it up. Set up some obstacles to navigate around. This is a great way to cut around a defender or even zigzag between two defenders trying to tackle from opposite sides. The key to the move success is keeping the ball under your body all the time. It's quick and dynamic, but also keeps the ball protected. If you pull this one off at the right moment, you can be pretty sure of either beating your defender or winning a free kick. Just keep practicing, and before you know it, you'll be dropping defenders like Jerome Boateng in a Champions League semi-final. Coach Joshua, and this challenge is called Inside Outside Repeat. I'm Coach Joshua, and this challenge is called the Ronaldo Chop. Hey, this is Coach Stefan. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, so for today, I'm going to demonstrate 
uh, the Coquetta move. It's one of my favorite moves that I used to do quite a bit in my younger days. To get started, why don't I just show you what it looks like. Take care. 